Hey guys, it's Madame Wario and I'm making it my mission this holiday season to give a voice to the voiceless. My goal is to raise $1,000 AUS for World Wildlife Fund Australia as they make strides to keep koalas climbing. Earlier this year, before the pandemic, wildlife in Australia was already facing devastation. The Australian wildfires affected over 3 billion animals, 1 billion of which lost their lives in this traumatic event. Among these billions were over 6,000 koalas, some of which were the last remaining in existence, now gone forever. But with your love and support, there's always hope. Even before the wildfires, climate change, disease, and human impact already decimated koalas' numbers. But there's a future for them if we work together to protect forests, create wildlife corridors, and do our part to reduce climate change and global warming. By donating, you will help create the Great Koala National Park, 50,000 hectares of new national park to give koalas the long-term stability they desperately need and deserve. Create new koala corridors across the northern region, helping fund the planting of up to 100,000 koala habitat trees using drone direct seeding. Build a network of new koala hospitals to expand and modernize existing koala clinics into life-saving wildlife surgery centers. Create a network of koala sanctuaries in private lands and in core habitat. And lastly, allow wildlife experts to use advanced technology and monitoring systems to closely protect our remaining koala population. Please join me in giving the koalas a voice this holiday season and raising $1,000 for Australia. I speak entirely from my heart when I say that animals are my number one passion, so please help this cause. If each of my Twitch followers were to donate $5, we would not only reach our goal, we'd significantly surpass it. And if you do not have the means to give financially, please help spread the word to family, friends, and on social media. After all, awareness is half the battle. Thank you all so much for listening, for your kind hearts, loving support, and willingness to give. 
This has been Madam Wario. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Peace on Earth. Whoa, hey guys, it's Madam Waria. Welcome to a crochet pop-up stream brought to you by Keep Koalas Climbing, my World Wildlife Fund Australia campaign that is going on through the 20th. Oh my, Armand with the sub in the house, yo. Um, thank you so much for the sub hype to start us off. Oh. Uh, Oh girl, the shout out to Psycho and Balls Deep, thank you as well for the the sub to the sub and for this 2020 shred emote. Thank you so much. Well, balls deep and crochet, madam five B A H, madam five pog, madam five pizza, what? madam five frog, madam five kitty. Oh my goodness, madam thank you. Oh, did have to think about that last one, sorry. Um, thank you so much, you guys. Welcome. This is going to be a, a quick little ditty here, uh, mostly because it, it can't be that long anyway. My fiancé streams on Wednesday nights, and kind of going over the schedule for uh, this upcoming weekend and everything, I didn't want to do two streams in one day, and we have holiday plans on the other days with family and just with ourselves, too. Um, so this was really, like, the only moment I could fit this in, so... Uh, I wanted to make sure this was done before the campaign was over on the 20th, but um, if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. You probably, you could blink and like miss this stream probably. Um, but yeah, we're going to be crocheting a koala bear um, amigurumi plushie um, to celebrate reaching our first $500 in donations. So this was the milestone reward incentive and we reached that um, within the first couple streams and so here we are. This shouldn't take very long at all, you know, crocheting an animal is pretty basic, so uh, it's not anything super complicated, and we're not going to be making all the limbs and everything. I have a specific type of plushie I'm making um, that's a little bit, it will help keep this short and sweet. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here, for joining me for this. I know it's like not announced, it's just nature of pop-up. I, I also know that a, a lot, a lot of people stream on Wednesday night, so I appreciate you being here. Um, it's like, uh, one of those nights where almost everybody I know but myself streams, so it's like, ah! But anyway, I appreciate it. Uh, so welcome Pokemon, Rainbow Road 1996, Armand2017, thanks again for the sub, and shout out to Psycho Nacho Man. Mr. Wario, Startup94, Balls Deep and Pizza Ba, thank you so much again for the sub. I got a new emote, I have Madam 5 Pog now, uh, courtesy of Zenonia. She captured that from a couple streams ago and sent it to me and I was like, there we go, tier two. It, it's on. The cats are going insane in the background. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, Jigmad3373, Eld18, and Little Foo is in the house! Lavender Ruffles, welcome as well. Um, so we're just gonna have some holiday music on and we're just kinda gonna get started and get going. So I'm just gonna be doing, um, I'll show you guys. These are actually uh, Kingdom Hearts themed. And they have kitty hair all over them because my cats like to rub on them for whatever reason. But I do um, what I've been calling marshmallow crochet plushies. And they're just little, you know, um, 
little plushies, and they're literally in the shape of a marshmallow, and so that's why I've been calling them that. Um, that's what I plan to do for the koala bear. I'm gonna make, like, this shape. So here are some of the- here's a hot preview of some of the ones I've been working on, but- or have worked on, so obviously this is a heartless, um, from Kingdom Hearts. There's Odie back there, you know. It's a hot Christmas hot alert or something. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Then we have Goofy. Goofy's a little taller, because he is a little taller than most. Um, but you know, they don't have any limbs or anything. I was kind of inspired by the Tsum Tsum plushies from Disney that apparently aren't popular anymore, which makes me really, really sad. Uh, I need to make his shield still. He doesn't have a weapon, so I feel kind of bad for him, but the idea is that these are like quick and easy to crochet and get done. Then I have Riku, because he's Bay, so. Obviously, I have I have a Riku up in this house. Uh, but anyway, this is the style that we're going to be uh, crocheting the little koala in. Oh, thank you, thank you guys. Well, snack with crotch, not 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 crochet, but crotch. Um, <laughs> welcome to the stream, to the stream. Welcome, shy guy, for days. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. Glad you like them, little foo. Yeah. Rico is actually really fun to put together because his hair is like layered pieces of felt. I'm gonna do Sora too, but I wanted to practice with Riku since his hair's flat and Sora's goes off and out into the distance. So I'm like, okay. Um, so I'm working on making like the main people from Kingdom Hearts because we've been playing through Kingdom Hearts 2 together and it's put me in the mood to craft, obviously. Um, but thank you! Thank you, Allison! I appreciate it! Uh, so that's the style. We're gonna just basically be doing like a little marshmallow ball that's gonna be, um, the koala's body. And then I'll show you how I make the ears. I'm gonna add tufts on the ears because the ears are very fuzzy. We're gonna make a little nose and then probably a little mouth area. So, um, you know, if I were making like four limbs and all this stuff, it would take way longer. So I've got my, my gray, a uh, big twist yarn here. Shout out to big twist. Uh, oh my god, I've got fuzz in my eye. Oh, I'm gonna zoom the camera in and probably refocus it. What, Julie? I should have gotten my. Nuts. Why? I don't know. I should have gotten my light out for. Or, you know what? I'll just turn this light on. There, that'll help brighten things up. Um, and so we're gonna get a little bit of unintentional chest cam. Just because I have to. You know. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and move the camera. We're gonna... No. What? 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 What are you talking about? Oh my god. Anyway. How could I? Let me zoom in. Anyway. Uh, I don't know where... Hold on, let me zoom out a little. I know, this is just gonna cut off what are you doing? Cut off my face. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to start this off with what's called a magic circle. Because it's magic. Also known as a magic ring. But magic ring sounds like a medical term to me. Or like birth control and I don't like that. So I'm calling it a magic circle. And, yeah. So, why is this already like fighting me? So when I first get started on this, it's going to be a bit of a counting stream. It's going to feel a little like Sesame Street. Because until I get to a place where I can just mark my starting point and keep going and not count, it's a little bit more um, concentrated. So um, let me see how... And I have to wait till this is just a little bit bigger to... If I... Hold on. If I zoom this like that. Ooh, no. <laughs> there we go. Then you can see that. So, there we go. Alright. So anyway, I'm gonna just be counting out the number of stitches I need per row here really quickly to begin. We start with six, we increase to twelve, then eighteen, then twenty-four. So if you crochet and you're like, how do I make this? That's what you do first. So increase every stitch, increase every other stitch, increase every two stitches. 
And if you've been crocheting, you know what it means. If you don't, don't worry about it. Because it won't make sense probably even if I explain it this quickly. So I just double count or double check to make sure I have the right count. I do. Now I'm gonna increase. So once I get past these starting rows, Jilly, what are you doing? Once I get past these starting rows, we'll be good to just have a casual conversation, you know. Um, yeah, we love a counting stream, exactly. Uh, Mocha Milk, welcome to the Strem de la Strem. Yeah, not regular twist, big twist. It's obviously the coolest way to go. Um, I used to make, well, I didn't really make that many of them because they're kind of hard to film. They kind of hurt your back. Just the way you have to like crochet around a camera and pretend like it doesn't hurt. Um, but yeah, I did a couple speed crochets and those are like the most fun to watch because they're kind of like cartoons where you just see like zzz and something appears. So that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so when it's slowed down, you can really see the time consuming process. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. So now we're on the last increase row, and after this, I don't have to worry about counting. Three and four. Five, six, seven, eight. We're going up to 24. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So yeah, that's our, our starting point. So you'll see. What are you laughing at now? What did I do? 12, 94. <laughs> yeah, 11, 92, 12. Okay, one, two, and three. I'm gonna go three stitches over and then mark it. And then it's just a matter of length. We'll just crochet until we're at a length where I feel like it's tall enough. And I'm gonna kind of use my little shadow heartless that I made to judge how large, or sorry, how tall. Why can't I do this? How tall I want this to be. Okay, so now that I've marked it with this, um, I'm gonna have to hold on. <coughs> I might have to hold on. Now that I've marked this with the little red, we are good to go. So now I know where my starting point is and I don't need to worry about counting until the very end of this. So the detailing is gonna be a lot more interesting than just making the base of the body. But if you guys have any like questions, they don't have to be about crochet. If you want to do like a little Q and A just for fun, we can do that. Uh, this is very chill, very much like hey, hang out and listen to Nintendo themed winter slash Christmas music and be cool. So, so yeah, I I always yeah, little foo. I always just like mark this off with um with just a little piece of different color thread and I have like little pieces I keep in my crochet bag just so I can um, not have to count, sit there and like watch the rows go by. I can just kind of be like, whatever. This makes it a lot easier if you're like, you have a movie on or you're listening to music or something and you're, you're getting up and you're kind of doing multiple things at once, which is pretty much what I do every single time I crochet. Yeah, or yeah, or your fiance's in the background, like talking to you about something that needs concentration. You know. We're making a koala. Huh? We're making a koala. Yeah, we're making a marshmallow koala. Marshmallow style. Is this based on the hit game Koala Kids on Steam? No, this is not based on the game Koala Kids on Steam. And I, th I thought about doing like a version of this that was from Animal Crossing, but then I thought I kind of want it to be more pure and focused on a real life koala. Right. So. so that's why I'm doing just basic B today. Um, 
Oh my gosh, I would love that, little foo. That would be the best time. I want to crochet with you someday too and have- we do, we need like a chill vacation with some crochet time where we just like cuddle up with hot chocolate or like a glass of wine or something and just spill that tea and crochet. All the things. It's kind of amazing for as long as I've been crocheting too, like there are still things I watch in videos and like it's one of those things that you can crochet for the longest time and be really skilled at it and you still learn something new or some like little trick that you're like, what? Why wasn't I doing that all along? Like, how did I not think of this? Like uh, that, uh, just like this year, I learned a trick with like the starting chain of a project, like how to make it look the same on both ends that I just wasn't doing. And most of the tutorials I watched didn't do it either. And I'm like, how is this not like a, a more well-practiced thing? Like, so it's kind of crazy how you can just continue to learn little, little tricks and little steps. But yeah, crotch and face mask with Kyle the Gamer. Whoa. Kyle the Gamer. Yeah. I don't know, probably some cringer that I'm like engaged to or something. Yeah. You know who else loves hot sea? Serena from Sailor Moon. Yeah, shout out to Serena, who's secretly like a more exaggerated version. She really is like the cartoon version of me. Unless she was Unagi. Usagi and Wait, Unagi's like a fish, right? I don't I don't know. I all I know is that Usagi is the name I grew up with. Ooh, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Oh, anime Bobo. Basically, it's so true. There are there are always new tips and tricks to pick up. So it's just one of those things. It's. I feel like any kind of art is like that, but it's just surprising that you think you know, you think you know it all, or you have like a good grasp, and then you're like, oh wait, no, I could have been making this like ten million times easier on myself, but just wasn't cool. So. What's Unagi, like, actually, yeah. though? <laughs> unagi is the Japanese word for eel. Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Dang it, now sushi sounds good again. I never eat eel sushi, by the way. It just makes me think of sushi. Like, I have trouble eating eel. Like, it's too much. I don't know. Fish I can do, but... Hey, I'm gonna pull up a chair beside you. Oh, sure. No, it doesn't bother me. I want to read chat and show these guys. Sure. I'm eating chips. Wow, just hitting me with that chair. I'm kidding. Yeah, I just, I can't, it like tugs on my heartstrings too much. Not that I don't love fish and like, you know, pray my thanks to them for giving me life. But like, eel just like, I don't know. It's too much for me. I'm going to mute this. No, that's our fun background snow but, on the TV. Pe no, but like I can mute it. Like it's like two musics. I like the double music. <laughs> I'm multitasking. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're about a little over halfway. If you see the... You know, the little red thing sticking out. It kind of looks, looks like Chicken Little a bit. It does. <laughs> Topical. Wow. Prepare to hurt. <laughs> Prepare to hurt, you guys. <laughs> What a random, like, that is seriously the most random... It was probably new at the time. Thing. Like, likely. Was it? I feel like it's older than that. I feel like it's probably... I don't know. Pretty I, recent. I was just like, what? I don't know. Eel's like your favorite role? I mean, no, that's totally fine, Snack. You, you do you. I just... For me, I get, like, emotional. Like, I can't... I can't, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I, I just can't do it. But my favorite role is Philly. Like, Philadelphia role is my go-to. Um, I don't like it as much when people put cucumber in it. I like it just uh, the salmon and cream cheese and avocado. Like, those are the best. But uh, I'll eat it with the cucumber, but I'd rather it didn't crunch. Like, I... It, I'll still eat it, but I prefer the non-crunch, which is what, like, my local sushi place, they don't put cucumber in it. I think it's also just, like, the first time I had it, it didn't have it in it, so I'm like, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, listen, we love obscure quotes in this chat. We really do. What are you talking about snagging, like, that FPS mode? <laughs> 
Uh, did you guys see my new Pog emote, by the way? I'll spam it, because it's a tier 2. I didn't have any more room on my tier 1, so I apologize for being like, Oh my god, sub higher, but like, that's my Pog. So, you can thank um, Zenonia for that one. I'll give her a quick shout out too, but yeah. Wow, they were last playing retro. Wow. Hot. I don't know what she's playing now. She beat Earthbound, so I don't Oh, know yeah. <laughs> That's so cursed. <laughs> it is. She's like, I made you this pog. And I was like, what? <laughs> you just... How did I do this? Yeah, the, the shutter shade. That was when I looked like a teenage boy. Like, I had the... My hair was up. So then when I put the hat on, it just looked like little pieces, like the ends of my hair sticking out, like I had a short haircut. And I had the shutter shades on, which covered up, like, my makeup and that, like, beanie. I mean, it just was a look. It just was an, the ultimate look, so. You thought those shutter shades were big lips? Oh my god. Yeah. What game is this from? Um... This is from Yoshi's Woolly World. Wait, I poop and scoop. I poop and scoop. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> what is this, like, ghetto bat? Look at this bat! You just cut this chip- Look. Odie just cut this chip bag so that he could get to the chips. This is- I- look, this is- <laughs> This is a classic tri trick from, like, my childhood, okay? Uh, the chips are almost done. You don't need a bowl for that. Look. You don't need to have the whole bag. You just cut that along there, bam, good. I can't, I can't do it. Okay, this is gonna be probably, <clears throat> mm, probably my last row until I start decreasing, which means I'll close up, I'll do this again in reverse. So um, this is gonna be, once I finish this row, the, the last regular row. So I'm gonna have to count a little bit again um, here in a second. And then we'll get started on the details, so it'll be super fun. And then you'll kind of start to see this guy come together. So I'm decreasing my stitches from 24 to 18. Okay, 8, 10. These kind of taste like no-name chips. I bet they're the same. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. And by the way, guys, I mean no name the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the brand, the brand in Canada. The brand, no name. <laughs> it means they even got yellow packaging. It's ridiculous. I love the no name, like, uh, ads and stuff. They're so funny. Is that the store that has, like, the bright yellow bags? Yeah, everything's okay. yellow. Yeah. Everything's, like, super yellow. Well, the yellow. store you're talking about is no frills. Okay, yeah. Like they no frills. They most commonly... Yeah, that was the crunching sound. Yeah, sorry, that's me uh. eating. My B. But, um... <laughs> like, they... Con like, like, they have mostly no-name stuff at no frills. Like, that's, like, their... Like, Zares, is, Zares and Loblaws is, like, their, like, top brand. Mm-hmm. And then no frills is, like, their... I don't know. What, what's a store that would have something like that? I can't, like, I don't know. Like, almost like an outlet. It's not an outlet store, but it's like the closest right. thing I can think of, honestly, where it's cheaper there. Yeah. So. 13, 14. Yeah, but their branding's hilarious. Like, it's like straight and to the point, like, what it is. Like, I, I can't think of anyone, like, off the top of my head right now, but it'll, it'll just be, like, they'll have, like, a commercial and everything will be yellow. I'll just have, like, advertisement here and like wow. stuff like a oh, bunch of dumb stuff like that it's funny <clears throat> it's pretty ridiculous yeah. so this is our little body we are almost to the last we we have one more row to do before we close this up um and i'm leaving it open so i can stuff it really quickly but in case you do crochet and you want to know what i just did um so i started out with six increased to 12 increased to 18 and then 24 and then, how many rows did I do? I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did nine or ten. I did, it looks like I did nine rows. 
Um, just regular, nine regular single crochet rows of 24. Then I decrease from 24 to 18, then 18 to 12, and now we're gonna stuff. So, um, I got my big old fiber fill! We're gonna use this. Um, here comes Liam. How's it going? Uh, oh, I thought I saw Kit. She's not over there. Remember when you were getting on my case earlier for Smash Melee? Oh my god, please don't talk about Melee again. Uh, well, this song is from Smash Melee. Oh my god! <laughs> it, it's inevitable that we're gonna talk about Melee again. I'm like, Odie. You I didn't know, even bring it up. I was, I was listening. To, look, of melee controversy. You I was listening play. to a speedrun controversy video. Okay, like I just like, it, he doesn't always talk about controversy. Sometimes he just talks about speedruns as is. It's very informative. I like it. Okay. Okay. All I've done is heard all these and cringers talking about controversy lately. I'm anyway, like, oh. I was listening to that in the background, my own business, and then Bobo was like, <laughs> "Are you listening to that?" But... Melee controversy stuff again. I'm like, no, speedrun controversy. Oh actually. my god, all the controversy. I'm like, you need to be like a press person. I don't know. Yeah, probably. That'll happen sooner or later. Yeah. I just need to start making things like that. Yeah, we're gonna stream I know, melee. It's he, true. He, also, uh, oh, doesn't own that, but... Puddles, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. To the stream. We're making a little uh, koala plushie right now, which you can't tell because right now it's just a ball. But we're gonna start adding the details. <clears throat> so. We're almost there. We're almost ready to add details anyway. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to increase from 12 to 6. So I'm decreasing every stitch or every two stitches together, if you will, if you want to be, like, proper. Um, so there's 6, 7, 8. And sometimes I add a little bit more stuffing after this step because it just adds, you know, it obviously adds more stitches, so it adds a little bit more space. To fill in and I have tiny fingers so I can get away with it some people they're like I can't do this which is totally fine but the way Bobo has her GameCube set up like legitimately like I can't fit my fingers in there to hit the power button like she has to do it or I have to it's pull the, or I have to pull the GameCube out to hit it it's true I have things designed for skinny it's fingers kind of funny like... and skinny hands I'm like sorry Odie you have to, I have to do it um, I have played Melee one time in my life, and it was against Proton John at a tournament that the Runaway guys put on at PAX, like, in 2014 or something like that. And I was terrible. I lost so badly, because he plays the game, like, all the time. I, I was like, this is my first time playing this game. He's like, oh, shoot. So it was pretty, pretty funny. But I was like, this is probably the worst intro to this game I could have. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, uh, close up this little hole at the bottom now. Um, we're done stuffing. I'm gonna use my trusty, look at this, this is my plastic darning needle, my plastic yarn needle, and look at all the kinks in it from where I've bent it. I love this thing because I can, like, bend it and make it do what I want. If you, I love metal needles for other reasons when it comes to crocheting, because it's like, it goes right where you want it to go, but no. These are the best for little plushies because you can bend them and manipulate them to where you can use a very small amount of yarn and because I try to get the most possible like product out of my yarn skeins, it's a thing. Hey, I, I know you love talking about Smash Bros. Oh my god, why um, are we talking about this again? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, hold on, okay. No, serious. How much do you like the original? I like it it's fun okay so but i'm just confused like why did you never like want to try melee um it wasn't my favorite game or anything and i i wasn't the one who asked for it like we all shared an n64 and my sister uh charmander really really wanted smash bros like she really got into it and she uh we didn't have a gamecube so it was like i didn't even know anything about melee i didn't even know there was a gamecube game for it until later and then i got a wii and obviously the Wii version came out, and I knew all these dudes then that were obsessed with it. But I didn't have anybody to play with. Like, my sisters were older, like, they'd started moving out, and it would have been just me. And if I'm gonna sit around and play, like, a group game alone, it's gonna be Mario Party. It's not gonna be Smash Bros. That's fair. So, That's we just curious. didn't have it. We, we didn't have Melee, we didn't have GameCube stuff. So, until I was older. And then that wouldn't have been a game I, I cared to get for that reason. So I'm not really trying to take you away from your uh, 
No, you're good. Hot we just koala build this, in here. this is our this is our finished uh, body. So I know she's awesome Whoa. at doing this. Like, so it's a little little bit. This yarn is a little thicker because black yarn tends to be a little thicker because there's more dye in it. So it's the same size, but it looks a little larger. So <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happens. Um, so now I'm gonna make the nose out of black yarn. And I'm gonna use, uh, th by the way, I used a size I slash nine 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for the nose. I'm gonna use something just a little bit smaller. If I have, what happened to like my smaller crochet hook? All right, I'll just use this one, whatever. I'm gonna use a, an F. I really didn't wanna use this size. I wanted to use a G, but okay. Um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this yarn. You can get away with a scrap for this probably. And I'm just gonna kind of make this up as I go here. So F's in the chat for the needle? Yeah, F's in the chat for the, the hook, oh, the you hook. mean. My bad. Sorry. Okay. Let's... Uh, okay. I did... Oh my god. This is gonna be really hard to see because it's black. For you guys, I mean. Like, I can see what I'm doing, but you're probably gonna be like, what is she doing? So I chained three, I'm gonna, or I chained four, sorry. I'm gonna go back down the row. Maybe next time you do something like this, you should wear like a white top so that Well, I did, I wore dark because I knew this was gonna be lighter. Uh, okay. This is just the one portion of this that's like dark, so. I don't know. You can also use just a piece of, like a piece of felt for this too. You don't necessarily have to crochet a piece for the nose. Mad two more stitches in the corner here so that it rounds. You know, Armand, when I, back when I was collecting more avidly when prices weren't so crazy around like 2010-ish, I got Smash, Smash 64 is like a game I grew up with that I never owned. Like I played it so much it's for crazy. not owning it and I remember finding that for like 10 bucks or something. Wow. Like, buy. That's crazy. It's just crazy how much games have gone up. I think I got Super Metroid for about that price, too. Okay, I'm gonna add one more row of stitches for this nose so it sticks out a little bit. And I'm not gonna stuff the nose or anything, because then it'll just be too big, but... I am gonna add a little bit so that it puffs out. I'm sorry you can't really see this that well, but... At least this is the only portion of this that's going to be, like, dark, so. Okay. Snack, I miss collecting so much, especially with this year. Like, like what really sucks is in, in my hometown, like, last October, we had, like, a retro store close that was, like, the best one. Oh my god, I'm still, I'm disappointed over that still. Like, that, that was, like, the best one, and they closed, and... We had another retro store in that town that moved to another town, so like, cool. So there's like nothing left for collecting in my town anymore except for like Value Village. Like, right. we used to like have a Goodwill. We used to have a Goodwill that was actually good, but then they started doing like auctions for their stuff because like we can make more money on it. Like that's when I that's when I got like Mario Kart 64. And Yoshi's Story. They started doing auctions. And, yeah, like silent auctions or whatever. No. But um, I got like all that for like five bucks. I got like an N64 controller, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart 64, Yoshi's Story, <laughs> columns for Genesis. I, it was like this this lot. They're like, yeah, it was like five bucks. I'm like, all right, sweet. Doing it. So you can't get that anymore. So. I know. It sucks. There's a good retro scene here. Like, yeah, there is here where I am, but and, like... And I'm still collecting for Wii U, which is still at GameStop sometimes, so that's okay. But that's not really, that's not retro, but... Okay, I'm just sewing on the nose now, so I'm, again, this isn't going to be very... You guys aren't going to be able to see this very well just because I... Of the way the camera's facing and stuff, but this won't take me that long, so you won't miss too much! Again, if you're making something like this yourself, you can also hot glue this. That'll save you some time. Um, if you find sewing not to be your thing or just too tedious for you, like, there's really... I just like to sew things because I don't... Um, 
it's easier for me to just sew them and not have to worry about gluing later. Um, because I am... I enjoy the process of sewing, but other people don't, and I totally get it, and that's totally fine. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna just... Oh, that's really cute. Hide. I'm seeing the process. Seeing it come together? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Koala nose. Koala nose! Okay, so I'm gonna pull that through. Hold on, I gotta... Yeah, I don't think there's any this. actual game stores in our town anymore, like that's specifically gaming, other than, well, EB Games is... Game stuff, right, EB but that's games. like not the same as no. like game chasing. Like no, it's not. Like that's hey, it. Hey, hey, hey! Do we need to get in that, Jilly? Jillian! What is she getting there? She's knocking over all my stuff. Okay, so I just pulled. I made a little knot to secure the nose, and then I pulled through. Um, I'm kind of like crooked with this. Why can't I do this? Uh, I pulled the knot through, and then I'm just going to. I use the. This is like this needle specifically. It really weirdly works. I don't see anybody else do this. It's just like a weird thing. My needle has like, see that little bop on the end where like the the plastic has clearly been cut? That makes a little grip. And then I'm able to just stuff my excess yarn into the plush to add to it. So like I'm, I'm very environmentally conscious in general, but like I also just like to have a small amounts of waste as possible when creating because I don't want to throw away like a million bits of material like I'd rather use them as part of the process so that's what I do usually so here's the little um face and this is more of the the fun part is adding on the details so I'm gonna go to a little reference photo they typically have like a little mouth area which I'll probably just stitch on and I'll put ears on the sides and eyes on each side of the nose. We could add a bit of a belly. I don't think I'm going to, only because I feel like I would have needed to do that before the nose. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get a little bit more experimental here. But I have the eyes to add on, and I think I'll add those on next because it'll just give me a better idea of placement. Um, so I just have little black beads. Here's little jelly. Sorry. Little jelly. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. So, I'm just trying to to do this all together. I'll try to hold it like this so you can kind of see what I'm what I'm doing here. And sometimes what I'll do, this is kind of a trick, is if you use like a ballpoint needle specifically like the color of whatever bead you're using. These are obviously smaller than the, the eyes I'm going to use, but if you use a little ballpoint needle and just kind of stick them in, oh, that looks, you that will, looks cute. you'll be able to figure out where you want the eyes to go. I know, doesn't it look cute? That's like you immediately are like, like oh! <laughs> so the eyes are gonna be a little bit bigger than this, but that'll help you like remember where to put it without like marking or using a marker or a pen or whatever. Um, on your project. So that's something I recommend. Um, so I'm just gonna put my needle in right where I want this first eye to go. <laughs> Fits on the pink and and Jilly just underneath the pink. Aww. Surprisingly close. Wow. Yeah, they cuddled this morning and I was like shocked. So I took a photo and then they immediately got in a fight afterward. I was like, oh, well, yeah. cool. Um, oh, big baby. Yeah, I can't believe I missed watching Digimon the movie with us last night. I keep forgetting that, like, anything happens on Tuesday. And I think part of the reason is because Odie streams, and when he's done streaming, I'm like, all right, that's it. Tuesday night's over. And, like, I... Unless somebody texts me and reminds me and is like, hey, guess what? It's Tuesday. I don't know what my deal is. I just, like, fail. So, I'm the worst at... Uh, watching the Digimon movie. Sorry. Oh, snack, I wish. <laughs> Do what? Kit and Jilly love each other now. Oh my god, I wish too. <laughs> It'd be so nice. Um, I should have enough thread to do this on both sides without breaking, possibly. I don't know, that might be wishful thinking. Um, but yeah, that's like a little trick you can do to figure out where the eyes go before you sew them on and go, oh my god, that's not how I wanted it to look. So, 
these eyes that you're putting on, like, where is it really going through? Like, is it just two holes in there that it's just going through over and over again? Yeah, like, it's a bead, so you just thread it, you know, through the little holes right there. Until they fill in? Or... Uh, I don't do it that much, but, like, <clears throat> okay. you know, uh, you do it until it feels secure, basically. Okay, and then, of course, I... <laughs> This is the kind of dumb thing that I do, you guys. My thread is not long enough to knot now, so I'm gonna have to manually tie it and then add more. Because again, wishful thinking. Whoops, didn't mean to mess that up. I don't even, <laughs> sorry, I'm like balancing this on my boob. She kind of got that crazy pig a few times. Right now it's above a door. Oh stopper. my god, she it's just stuck there. Goes crazy if you throw that pig at the ceiling. Like she acts like that is the ultimate thing we need to get. And if it's on the ground, she like forgets all about it. Yeah, She's like, but oh. it's on the ceiling. Like, <gasps> oh my god, when it's on the ceiling. <laughs> Will you grab that black thread over there? I didn't yeah. think I'd need more of it. And guess what? I do. But this is his face, so he's got a little face going on. You were showing off this cool thread thing you had. My cool thread. Oh. I have actually on a video before. Um, I, I'm just I'm I really love the craft. Like, he does. It's really cool seeing all this stuff. Like I wouldn't own anything like this. Like, right. So. Well, thanks, Odie. I don't even know what that was for. Like if I saw that in a store, I'd be like, "What is that?" Because like, it wouldn't have thread on it, presumably. Right. <laughs> so yeah, you guys. If I didn't explain what we were talking about, but. I have this, um, like, stress ball pig that's, like, sticky. You can s squish it, but it's sticky. And my sister got this for me as one of my birthday gifts because my theme this year was 13 going on 30, so she got me some little, like, dumb things I would have wanted when I was 13. And it sticks if you throw it at the wall, and my cat Jilly goes crazy for it. Like, she loves it. It's turned into a cat toy. Um, but I, the bad thing is it's supposed to be a stress reliever, and I think it causes her stress, so <laughs> it doesn't really do its job very well. No, but for sure. Okay, I'm just securing this eye a little bit better so that it doesn't look weird or have pieces of that end sticking out. And you guys can kind of see his face forming, so that's super fun. Ooh, I feel like if I could do this, like, this is just all I would do. Like, that's it. I love that, doing this That's all I'd be stuff. doing. Like, that's it. I, I can, love it. I, I can make things that I like. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm, I can, I'm done I, doing anything else. That's why I love this kind of thing. And then, like, if you see something you like, you can be like, well, I don't really like that part about it, so I'll just make it the way I want to do it. Like, that's what's great about sewing and crocheting and making plushies. Or, like, I want that plushie, but I want it wearing this outfit. Like... That's what makes it the best. Right. Okay, now his face is secure. So now he's got a little face. Um, we need to add a little white part down here. Um, and then the ears. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the white part first because we're gonna have to kind of experiment to see how I want this to look. Um, I'm just gonna be eyeballing this until I go, wow, that's it. Um, what did I do with, there it is. So, um, I love that Odie is invested in the process. I just read that. Yeah, that's what I was responding to. I do too. I'm glad that you, like, respect the process and you're like, why do you do this? What? So. Well, I didn't, I don't say that. No, I'm glad you're not like that. Why? I'm, I mean, I'm not dumb. <laughs> why well, would let's I? let's just say I've known someone who was very dumb and was close to them. That's at a point, and I was like, um, yeah. That's ridiculous. Like, who was like, I'd rather you bought me things. What the F? Literally. Not even a joke. Wow. I know. Douchebag. Anyway, um, so, hold on. I'm gonna just pull this little ditty through. What is this part right now? Oh, girl! Thank you so much, Carrick! For the follow, welcome to the Strem de la Strem. So we're adding a little bottom lip. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I didn't know. Uh, oh, Zenonia's in the house, too. Welcome. Big Zenonia. I think my music stopped. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> Your video's paused. Like, why? Don't pause my video. All right. Okay, so we're adding the little bottom uh, part 
that's gonna be like his little mouth area, a little beard. They kind of have like little beardy areas. So cool. Oh shoot. And this, you ha you kind of have to like get the tension on this right. I know that sounds kind of funky probably, but. Um... I don't understand how somebody could not appreciate something that is handmade, honestly. I like, don't either because that, like, I know the time that goes into that is, it. That's like peak like quality of anything. Right. Like, you wouldn't go up to a restaurant if someone could make food like that at home. Right. Like, you like, would have that at home, and it'll be way better. Like, that's the point. Right. <laughs> Some people just don't have a, an appreciation for it, and it's mostly people who, like, they've never done it, they've never made anything, so they don't know the time it takes, and they're just, like, totally ignorant to the process. Which is why I'm like, look guys, like buy one handmade gift every year at Christmas for somebody or make something for somebody. You know, if you don't make anything, awesome. But like... I wanted to make a gift this year, but it didn't pan out. Oh no. For me? No, it was for my secret Santa. Oh shoot. Didn't pan out though. Well... I know, the, see that's the thing though. Like you just, that's cause like it takes so much more time to do something like that. That's what makes it harder. Like, I have to start making gifts for my family, because I always make my gifts a lot of the time. I have to start making them in, like, June. Like, literally. And if you get any kind of craft uh, catalog or magazine or ads, they will have Christmas stuff. Like, get your Christmas stuff now advertised in June. And it's not a joke. It's literally, like, if you don't get it now, you're not going to get it done. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, Snack. I didn't make you anything. So there's a little bottom beard part. I think that's probably... Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, Pixel. I didn't decent. make anything. Okay, I'm gonna do one more across. So this can be kind of like, yeah, kind of funny looking. Yeah, see how they have like a bottom oh, little, okay. little beardy That's looking pretty cute. area. Guys, it's less than ten days till Christmas. I know, like less what? Than 10. How? Man, See, this we're month, in the single digits. When I was like 10, <clears throat> oh my god, December was like the length of my whole life. Like, it was so long. Like, I'd be like, oh my god, it's been 10 days. It's been, you know, it's got to be the 25th. And it'd be like December 3rd. And I'm like, what? Oh my god, we have that long? Like, you know, peak childhood Christmas time. Oh my god, it was the longest month ever. Yes, yeah, Zanone, we, we were ranting on a certain somebody about not being about happy not with handmade. About not appreciating handmade stuff. Yes. So. Okay, so there's the little bottom part that's like the little this is so cute. Uh, beard. And if you want, this is going to sound crazy, but this is kind of the trick. Um, so you want to get like a wire pet brush for this next step and if you wanted you could use it on that little beard I'm not going to just because I don't want to mess up this part um, but um, I am gonna use this on the ears so this is your friend the wire pet brush and you can get these at the dollar store they're not like you don't have to go to a pet store and spend like seven dollars on this they're literally at the dollar store um, but yeah, wire pet brush is a weird tool of the trade when it comes to crocheting. So the next step is the ears, and we've got to make them fuzzy, like to have little tufts on the end. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to make these a little bit differently than I did the body. So they'll work up a little faster, but I am going to use my smaller crochet hook just so that it's a little bit tighter of stitches. But they're going to be larger stitches, but like tighter at the same time. What are you laughing at? Isn't that, I can't remember what day it was. Was it the day you had to go to the ER where you had like the hoodie on and just had like in your pocket, which is like a crochet hook? Yes, it was. <laughs> I was like, God, I guess I'm always prepared. Like, just, I, just had her crochet hook on her. I went to the emergency room. You know, just room. in case. They I have yarn to, there. <laughs> in case they have I yarn. I pulled out this hook from my, like, I was wearing a hoodie when I went to the ER and yeah, I'm like, I reached in my pocket, I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm just always prepared, you guys. Um, so that was kind of ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna do... 
five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ABC always be crocheting. Eleven. Okay, this might be too many, but I'm, I'd am i rather have to take some stitches out then. Add some. So that's my little magic circle ear. And we'll see if this is too small still. Um, gotta kinda look at the photo. This might be a dumb question, but do you sew this on? I or? do sew this on. So I know you glue some stuff on, right? Do you ever do that on these things? Uh, I do that? sometimes. Like I said, you can do that, but it'd be more complicated for me to go heat up a glue gun and go do that it's just easier for me to sew all this because there's not very many pieces so i think these ears okay i might try adding one row just to see how it looks and then i can always take that row out if i don't if it's too much then so i did 12 half double crochets in my magic circle and now i'm going to chain one and go the other way just doing single crochets so we'll end up with <laughs> 12 single crochets. Shy Guy thought an alert was going off. Oh my gosh, yes, this is the music for my Kirby alert. For you decorated for Christmas. Pixel, how'd you make that? Was that like clay? Like, did you put that in a kiln? You guys remember the kiln in school? Did you guys have a kiln? I'm gonna say that word a few wow. more times. Kiln? What a weird word. What a weird is. word. We had a kiln in school. We did? I was like, what a random thing that is exists in this school. I feel like schools teach, like, the most basic things sometimes that you never use outside of school. Like, That's not a basic thing. How like, what many a people random use a room. kiln now? I don't think I've ever been in another building with a kiln other than, like, my elementary school. <laughs> that's what I mean, but that's, like, the basic way they would make that stuff back in the yeah. day. Okay, so here's the larger gear. Bigger or smaller? I don't want it... I'm almost thinking smaller, just because I don't want it to look like an elephant. Right. So I'm going to pull this out. I don't think it'll look like an elephant with a face, though. No, but I think I do want it smaller just because the tufts are going to add... Are you adding, like, a like white, like, string? No, up? you'll see what I'm oh. going to do, okay. but... Um, you'll see what I, I'm going to do, but it is going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to leave it the basic row of, or sorry, basic circle of 12 uh, half double crochet stitches. And I'm just gonna make a tail for sewing. Um, and then I'll sew this guy on really quick and then make the second one. Um, it was clay, you had to use a toaster oven. Oh, that oh makes, god, that's that, so funny! That makes sense. Yeah, you have to bake polymer clay. We're getting a toaster oven, like... I like mean, when we're married, like that's just that's happening. We're putting it on the. We're, we're getting a toaster oven. I don't care if nobody <laughs> buys it for us. Okay. We're getting a toaster oven. That's like my my one thing I want. <laughs> it's so hard making a registry because like I have such a small space right now, and it's hard to make a registry because you're supposed to make it for your ideal space. And I'm like, I don't have room for any of this stuff right now. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And it's like, you're not supposed to go by where you live currently. You're supposed to go by the space you guys are going to have together. You see how your microwave hangs like that? Yeah. Growing up, we had a toaster oven that hung like that. Oh. So it was awesome. I mean, nice. so, but then it broke, I think. It's since been replaced, but you know, I don't live there anymore. So it doesn't matter. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, show us this hot black and white music right here. This is on so many like YouTube playlists. Like I hear this song all the time. And I'm like, I, I've never played this game. So I'm always like, this sounds like Pokemon, but which one, which one's which? Um. Pixel you YouTube, is this safe for the toaster? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wow. <clears throat> And snack and claim it on the registry. No one else get. All right, snack. Wow. Counting cool. on you. <laughs> Thanks, snack. It's from Diamond Pearl. This is hot Diamond Pearl stuff. So really? This sounds like. I wouldn't know. I just know it's from a Pokemon. I don't. I this, didn't play. This sounds like peak black and white. Like. This sounds a little older than that, though. Uh, like if you really listen to it. 
Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so there's one ear. I'm gonna sew... I gotta make a knot, and then we can start working on the other ear. And then I'm gonna do the fun part, which is adding the tufts. I wanna add the tufts at the same time. Mm, not like that, though. Oh, so this is from a good game, not a bad one. Oh, dis, Gen 5, oh, lol. Oh, I did not enjoy <laughs> Gen 5 at all, so. Yeah, that's a hot take nowadays, but back then, people hated Gen 5. I still don't like it, so I I don't know who these m mysterious people are that love it suddenly, but... It'll be that way. There'll, there'll be people that appreciate... What what gen is this now? Eight? What's... Is that what Sword and Shield is? Eight? I think so. Uh, I think so. Yeah. People be people hate that now, and then, you know, in ten years... Oh my god, such an underappreciated gen. Yeah. I don't know. I don't play Pokemon. Let's be I'm pretty real. sure everybody says that about, like, every game ever, though. They're like, it's so underrated, and it's like... I don't know. It's just whatever your opinion is, is the right one for you. Mom wanted me to get her an air fryer. Apparently there's one with the toaster oven included, so she get that one. No, separate devices. Oh my <laughs> I don't want none of this combo stuff, because there's... Well, sometimes they're finicky. But I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to see it. It could be like the Swiss chalet situation. That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I hate that I I know what you you're You know what I'm talking to. about, don't you? Okay, guys. There's one ear. For... Hold on. All right. Sorry. I just no, wanted... no, I wasn't saying hold on to you. I was saying hold on because I couldn't see it, and I didn't know if I was getting it in the camera at all. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, sorry, not hold no, on to you. No, you're good. Right. We're going to do the same thing again, I so know. feel free. Okay, so... So for Canadians out there, and, and for Americans looking well, at some point when you're allowed to go into Canada, all right, we have Harvey's and we have Swiss Chalet, okay? They're the same owners, right? Harvey's is more of a fast food joint. You got really good burgers. Hold on, can and, I interject something? Okay, okay. Harvey's turned me off at first because the name sounded like Hardee's, and I thought it, he was saying Hardee's, and I was like, Hardee's is disgusting. <laughs> so if you're thinking it's Hardee's, it's not. It's no. a totally different thing, and it's Harvey's with yeah. a V. It, Harvey's has really good veggie burgers, so if you're like, you don't like meat or whatever, too, like their veggie burger is the bomb. So anyway, okay, so you got Harvey's, which is like fast food. And you got Swiss Chalet, which is a sit-down restaurant, but you can get takeout, but it's like more of like a sit-down kind of takeout. It's like, it's like fast food take. I don't know how else to explain. Like you can definitely sit down, and it is a restaurant, but like it is also takeout. Okay, but here's the thing. All right, they each have their own fries. Harvey's has their own fries, and Swiss Chalet has their own fries. Swiss Chalet fries suck, and Harvey's <laughs> fries are awesome. But for some reason. They have combination Harvey's and Swiss Chalets, which just makes sense. Again, right. same owners. But again, for some reason, at those locations, they're like, hey, let's only use Swiss Chalet fries at at this location. Like, they don't have the Harvey's fries at those dual locations. So if you ever go to a Harvey, like, if you're going to Harvey's in Canada, go to just, if you can find one, just a standalone Harvey's that's not attached to a Swiss Chalet. There's, yeah. there's my insight for you, okay? Because those fries rock. Because that was like the so. first place I ever Swish went. Swish LA fries suck. That was like the <laughs> first place I ever went with Odie when I first went to Canada because I had been driving all day and we wanted something quick and easy. And he's like, all right, let's go to Harvey's because you've never been there. You don't have it. Like, it's I really love it. They have veggie burgers. Let's go. And I was like, okay. But then he's like, we can't get fries at this location <laughs> because it's connected to a Swiss Chalet. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. I don't understand, but I'll take your word for it. Um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. But uh, I guess Swiss Chalet, I've never had Swiss Chalet, but I guess it's the equivalent of Boston Market if you are from the U.S. like I am. Yeah, I wouldn't so, know what that is. Yeah, Did we it, go to... No, no, we've never okay. been to Boston Market. I never go to Boston Market, but okay. but it's like Boston Market where it has like the homemade food, I guess, or whatever. They have like dinners for Thanksgiving and stuff, and I don't know. Yo, Pixie, we did go to Harvey's at uh, at that Red Bull what was that Adrenaline, which is actually happening, I think, this weekend, <laughs> which is funny. It's like online now. Uh, what makes those fries bad? I don't know how to explain. They just aren't good. <laughs> like, they must just use like a different. They're just not good. They're bottom, 
bottom tier fries. I wonder, okay? like, why, though. You know how, like, well, McDonald's has really good, like, I know you can trash McDonald's any you want, but they got really good they fries. They good fries. Harvey's is, like, in that tier, where, like, you don't get a ton of fries like that. They're not thin in that, but they're just good. <laughs> they're just good. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. They're just, they taste good. Right. <laughs> Do I like eating french fries with ranch? I like sweet potato fries with a dipping sauce, but I don't typically eat fries he with any kind He doesn't eat fries with anything. Dipping. Like, I love ketchup, but he claims that ketchup tastes like his brother's room, and so he won't... <laughs> yeah. He won't You know, it. that's like a it good... It's so stupid. That's honestly a good way to put that. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm like, why don't you like our ketchup? House, and he's like, tastes just, like my brother's room. Our house I'm just like, smells what? Like, our house just smells His like ketchup. His house? Like... No, your house smells like a George Foreman grill that's never, <laughs> <laughs> that's never been cleaned. Well, and it's I, because I can tell you why it may smell like that. <laughs> just a hunch. Like, didn't Lance almost explode? Like, he caught it on fire. He caught it on fire. What? <laughs> yeah, he had to get a new one because he caught it on fire. <laughs> See, and Odie does. Uh, Odie uses that tactic, Pixie, because he puts black pepper on his fries, and he knows I can't have black pepper. So if he really doesn't want me to steal his fries, he'll just cover them in black pepper and be like, that, "Oh no, okay. I didn't do. I, I don't, forgot." I'm I like, don't mm. do that, like to bug you. I, I just <laughs> like it on potatoes. I'm just using it, like you could do it to bug me. Like, oh, I don't want to share my fries, so I'm gonna pour this on there really quick before she can get any. That's how I've taken it before. I've taken it personally. Obviously. I, Zanoni, I don't think you had to at Madame Wario. I believe she realizes what you are implying what? here. What? Oh my, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm the, I'm telling you that I have seen Lance explode eggs on the stove when I was doing my makeup. And I was like, I think your eggs just exploded. And... I have seen that that George Foreman grill, and it's absolutely disgusting. Hey, Lance, if you're lurking, we love you. <laughs> Lance, we love you, but oh my god, learn to clean your George Foreman grill. Like, come on, girl. Let's go. Um, <laughs> okay, I am almost done with just the basic part of this whole koala, and then we get down to the final details. So there, there he is. There she is. Um, and she's got like little round ears, you can see. Um, so now we're going to add the little uh, tufts to the top. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to um, use the wire pet brush like I showed off earlier. And this is gonna look scary, but I promise it'll turn out good. So you're just gonna take this and you're gonna just lightly brush the ends of the yarn and you can see it, it already is making like a little bit of a tuft and we're gonna have to like trim this probably a little later why are you giggling i am providing <laughs> providing quality <laughs> tips here and you are laughing through it it's not at you <laughs> it's not at you oh my god <laughs> i uh, could just imagine that conversation between my mom and alicia <laughs> oh my god also aj cool kid welcome to the strum the look oh she had by the way she has a Christmas Nintendo music playlist yeah, it's just on the a music... background. So she may not specifically know what yeah, the, I don't the thing know is from. All the songs, but yes, I do know that that one that, was from Diddy Kong yeah, Racing. Yeah, it was. I'm not sure. I think that's... Uh, and I think this is from... Is this from Kirby's Epic Yarn? I think that song was from the Frosty Village or whatever. I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, like this is all like uh, Wait, wintry. What's this song? I don't know. I think it's from Kirby's Epic Yarn. Probably. Your mouse is too slow. I can't get up there. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Again, tiny hands. Yeah, Cozy Cabin from yeah. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, so this works really well on yarn. This is how, if you've ever seen people who like re, uh, they like refinish Barbies and all that, like they like redo their hair. This is a way they make wigs, is they take yarn and literally brush it out until it's fine like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this until it's kind of wild and then I'm going to trim it because it's probably gonna be too long. Um, but you can see where the, it's really getting a tuft. Wait, so on. that's just from brushing the... Yeah, it's just from brushing that's the fibers. That's so cool! I know, isn't that like such a cool reaction? It's very satisfying. 
This is so neat. <laughs> <laughs> this is like awesome. And how appropriate. We're listening to epic yarn music, so. Hey, remember when we played through Epic Yarns and Onya and I just hated it? <laughs> I can't believe you hated it. I loved it so, so much. But it's very much my aesthetic, so it makes sense. Okay. I'm trying to get this piece that's like really close to the <sighs> base here. Probably have to get gonna have to get a little bit of the base in there too. Um but yeah, this is what I was saying, like, you can do down here if you want to, like, brush this out and make it a little fuzzy. And I'll just, I'll just poke it more than brush it so it adds a little bit of a fuzzy tuft. But, but yeah, this is the easiest way to add fuzz to a project. Just brush it or wiggle it or do whatever you need to do. Um, and, yeah. Now, this song brings back memories. This song, this world was the first one I ever walked into when I watched uh, Dark Minded Sith Let's Play of this back in the day. It was so funny. And then, like, when I got to it myself, I couldn't remember what the heck I was supposed to do. And those freaking races about murdered me. So, it was an experience, for sure. Alright, I'm gonna look at my reference photo to see okay. how long... The tufts need to be, so they're a little long. So I'm gonna bring out my my trash can, you guys, to just trim it up. Maybe you just had a bad hair day. Like you just woke up out of bed or something. <laughs> bad head. Bad head koala. Yeah, bad head koala. Mr. Wario, it's look. The problem with here's my problem with epic yarn, okay? Is he's not epic enough. <laughs> yes, it is too easy, but the problem is like if you play through it like that it is too easy or if you play through it to get everything it just feels like a slog like it just it's just unenjoyable to get everything that's there's no middle ground and the thing that's is, the problem i have with yoshi's island and i like yoshi's island it's not my favorite but like that's kind of my problem with that too it's like it's not a hard game like just if you play it like just get to the end but getting everything is just annoying sometimes the thing so. is i just didn't care and i just wanted to play through it and have fun and that's what i did but if you're like trying to seriously get everything i can see that being like oh this is taking forever um okay so here here are the ears with the little tufts i think he's looking pretty dang uh finished just about what i'm gonna do now um, is I'm going to add a little bow around the bottom. So I have some pink yarn here. And I don't know if I want to just crochet a little something. I think I'll just make a quick chain out of this to make a bow. And then go from there. And then, um, she'll be done, girls! She will be done. What are you doing with said koala, by the way? I don't know. Okay. I will probably just put a string on it and put it on our Christmas tree, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to just make a quick chain out of this yarn so that she has a nice little bow. And I have some holiday accessories. Maybe I'll sew like, a little candy cane on her or something, too, um, just to add a little, a little flair, you know. But really, she's... Um, She's almost done. Yeah, what up, Kaz? Casanova! Farewell till we meet again. Okay. So I need about... Farewell till we meet again. Farewell till we meet again. The biggest reveal from yesterday. I can't believe it. Also, welcome, Cass. Hopefully, I don't know if I missed anybody else who walked in in the past, like, 15 minutes or so. I've been so invested. I've been saying names. Okay. I think. No, I believe you. I just, I didn't know if I said them myself, but. Okay, I'm going to finish. Make sure you finally got a hair splinter out of his foot. Oof, my god, that's awful. Ugh, Oof. I hate splinters. They're the worst. Um. I'm just gonna finish this so 
there you go. I don't know if this is... Hold on. Let me... Jam um... it out to this big winter's theme. Okay. So I'm going to tie a little bow just around our koala. Okay. Um, what game is this from? Earthbound? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so now... I think I'm gonna look and see if I have like a little candy cane or something I can put on her to make her a little Christmassy. But there she is with her little bow. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so there's little uh, little bow koala. Let me see if I can uh, find a little accessory or something fun. to add. There, you can model the koala while I'm gone. Oh, all right. <laughs> Whoa! Big koala! Whoa! Let's see. Whoa! Let's see what I have here. This is really cool. Colors of Dawn Studio, welcome. I did not make this. <laughs> I wish I could take credit, okay. but I cannot. This is made by Big Madam Wario. Yeah, Colors of Dawn Studio, welcome. It's a cute emote. Is that a cat with a heart? Oh, that is a cute emote. I like it. Um, okay, so I have, like, different options. I have a candy cane, and then I also have these little lollipops. Um, I have some jingle bells, too, if we wanted to make, like, a jingle bell collar. I, I like the candy cane. It's kind of cute. That's cute. That is really cute. <laughs> we should, um... Are you just gonna, like, slide it in the string, or are you, like, gonna, like, sew it in? I mean, I could do either one, honestly. Interchangeable. Let me see if there's one that has... No, uh... Oh, this one doesn't have a top. What do you mean a top? Like, it doesn't have a little loop sticking out the uh, top, okay. so... There we go. So then she can have a little, a little candy cane like that. Um, I kind of like the little jingle bell too. Like, I have a little uh, silver jingle bell, or I have red. Do you have a gold one? Wait, maybe I have like a smaller gold one. I kind of like the big one though. Or uh, this one's gold. Let's okay. See. Which size I want. What she think? Small or bigger? She's kind of small. Maybe the smaller one. Maybe the smaller one. Shy Guy for days! Thank you so much for joining the Ba family, girl! Thank you, thank you! Welcome back! Baby! Um, thank you so much, and I give you all the Ba's. Thank you for the sub! Give those new pogs. Yeah, I give, give, I'll give some of the... By the way, Zenonia's here now. Yeah, I gotta give all the pogs. Shout out to Zenonia for the emote. Um, so we have... I have a little snowflake too. I can add something up. Um, oh, Shy Guy upgraded the tier. <gasps> Shy Guy! Did you really? Yeah. Thank you so much! I didn't even realize. I'm sorry. Wasn't even paying attention. Look at you. Going above and beyond. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna sew the little jingle bell on. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I added it. I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do the thing. I gotta add the emote and make it super extra. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight too. I know this was like unannounced and all that good stuff. It's just the nature of a pop-up, but I know you're supposed to be live soon. All right, I'm gonna put the little jingle bell on there. We're gonna make her a little Christmassy. Oh shoot! As I drop stuff, I make her a little 
It's a little Christmassy with our little jingle bell. Um, but yeah, it's fun to just do like chill little, you know, crafty pop-up stuff like this every once in a while. Um, but I've had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and just kind of spilling that tea, you know. So there's a little jingle bell. And then... Yes, girl. Get that sleigh ride. Okay, and let me knot this off. And then let me see if I want to add something by one of her little ears. Just to contribute here to the holiday vibes. Okay. And we're almost done, you guys. So I'll try to center myself a little bit better on here. Okay. So yeah, I have these little, where'd they go? I have these little snowflakes. Um, I could add one just on her head, like a little snowy, uh, snowy vibe going on. Um, so I think I'll do that. So I'll just kind of loop, loop around here and. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you, baby. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna loop this around a couple places to keep that snowflake from drifting away you know, gotta save it for that DIY you know what I mean All right. why am I not doing this okay thread work with me okay. there she goes yes Oh, so cute. This looks like a little, uh, the perfect little hair accessory. You know me, you guys. I'm all about the hair accessories. Um, so now she has a little snowflake in her hair. Let me see if I can turn this off if you can see a little better. Yeah, you can see a little better when that light is off. But yay, doesn't she look so cute? Okay, so the last step is that we need to add a little string to put her on the Christmas tree and then I will I'll have to take a photo and uh, share to Instagram or something so, and I'll share it to Twitter too so you guys can see um, yay How cute. so she's she's super cute love it so I'm gonna just use a piece of the gray uh, string that I have don't mind my jingle bells. I gotta take care of some business. Whoa, big bathroom hype. <laughs> oh, big poop butt stink hype. Gross. Yeah, not yours. All right, so I'm just gonna take this through. Um, I'm gonna just take my yarn through the top here. And then, oh no, don't, don't do that. Okay. I'll make it just, you know what? I think I'm going to have to move it over so it's straight. Otherwise it's going to be crooked and weird looking. And we don't want that. We want her to be displayed just right. So yeah, so that way when she... Well, maybe. Is that good? Is that... Hmm. Sometimes just the nature of crochet makes this part just a little bit tricky because where you uh, pull the string through actually matters. So it's like, uh, that doesn't look right, you know. 
All right, I'm gonna have to do this again because I did it in the wrong spot and it doesn't look good. Can't find the middle spot. I might just have to go maybe right there. Okay. And actually, I think I'm gonna thread it through instead because it's just gonna be a little bit more. Um, or it's gonna be a little bit easier to pull it through. So, thank you guys so much for all your kind words. I'm glad you've enjoyed this. I'm glad you like her. She's a, a big cutie. All right, I've almost got it. Again, I, I don't know why this is tricky sometimes, but just finding the right loops to pull this through can be a pain in the butt. And I, I also think I'm picky with this kind of thing too because I'm like it has to hang just right. There we go. There we go. That's right. Now, now she'll hang straight up and down instead of like kind of tipping forward because I didn't want her to tip. And then I'm just gonna tie, if I had some like striped um, thread or something, I would use that, but I don't. I know, one of two ice boards, you guys. Okay, so then you can just leave that with the little knot on the end, or you can pull that to the bottom, or you can be fancy and brush out the ends so that it looks like a little poop ball, which is what I'm gonna do. Yay! So now she is a Christmas ornament. So yay! She will hang on the Christmas tree just so and be fabulous. Woohoo! Shout out to hashtag keep koalas climbing. The reason for this crochet stream right now. Thank you so much uh, to WWF Australia for asking me to be part of this campaign. And thank you, huge thank you, especially to all my donors uh, thus far um, who got us initially to $500 unlocking this stream. And beyond that, we're already over $1,200, so it's absolutely amazing. Um, so uh, thank you guys so much for, for your support and for showing up to this stream. Again, it was just a pop-up, so there weren't really any announcements other than like, I am live! Whoa! Uh, let me see if I can focus a little bit on her and I'll turn the, the light off so you guys can really uh, see her. But yeah, that's her. So she's got all her little little Christmas um, Christmas decorations. She's got her candy cane, her jingle bell, and her snowflake in I her hair. Added the snowflake. That's cute. I did. I added a little snowflake. So she's a little Christmas koala now. Um, so yeah, she is, she is ready for, for Santa. Um, oh, Colors of Dawn, congratulations. Oh yeah, big congrats. Yeah, congratulations, and oh my gosh, I, I can imagine, like, whenever I have kids, I'm gonna, like, crochet so many things, so <laughs> I just, all the things. Um, does the koala have a name, or is she just koala -ty cutie? We should name her. We really should name her, like, on stream right now. you have any name ideas, Odie? Mm, I don't got anything. I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't got, yeah, by I the way. I don't have anything. There we go. We'll, uh, wait a minute. Pan over so we can see. Oh, no. Oh, so we can kind of see Odie. Wow, with your big old gut. I know. Cool. That's all right. The way I was sitting, it looked like it. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'll move this way, and then we can kind of okay. tilt. Um, I'm trying to get this focused. There we go. But, but yay! Thank you guys so much for being part of this stream. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I'm glad you've enjoyed uh, watching the creation of our little koala. I feel like her name should be like Candy or something. That's cute. Because she has like candy pink and she's holding her candy cane. I think I want to name her Candy. Um, like Colors of Dawn! I don't 
No, with a Y. <laughs> I like it with a Y. Okay. Thank you so much, Colors of Dawn Studio, for following. Welcome to the hemp zone, to the house. Yeah, I like candy for her because she has like her little candy pink and everything. What about but... like minty? Well, then she would need like a mint. Well, like candy canes are mint. I don't know. Uh, I feel like if she's minty, she needs right, like you green. Already, well, if you already said candy, fine. I like right. candy, so she's candy. Okay. Candy the koala. Yay, candy the yeah, candy the koala. How cute. Candy with a K. We could do candy with a K <laughs> like an Animal Crossing. <laughs> we could. Um, but yeah. So this is really all this stream is going to be, you guys. It was just for this. Um, I've got to get going anyway because Odie's actually got to start streaming with um with Slimbo, Big Slim Kirby. Um, but yeah, I will take pictures of her with on the Christmas tree and post them on Twitter and uh, Instagram, and I'll probably post it in my Discord as well. But yeah, Candy the Koala coming to New Horizons game near you. Oh, I love how she turned out. So if you guys crochet um, and you're watching this on YouTube later. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment them or anything. This is a super basic pattern. I think the only thing that wasn't really clear was the nose. Um, so if you have questions on the nose, it might be easier for me to write it as opposed to show you, especially because it was black yarn. Um, but it's basically a chain and then going around the chain and then making another row. Like It's super easy to eyeball if you are experienced enough to just kind of do that. Um, but yeah, so this is this is our little koala. I'm gonna let you hold her while I check some stuff out. I want to thank everybody for all the follows. I was just the hanger. Um, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This is really cute. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for all the follows and everything today, um, and for being a part of the stream for chatting too. Thank you. I really wasn't expecting much because it's it's a busy stream night. Um, most of the people I follow stream on Wednesday night, so I was like, well, you know. Um, there's a lot going on, but I, I appreciate you all being here. And if you are not part of our Discord community, um, we've got a. Oh no, I did the Discord. wrong link. Discord. Uh, we've got a great little community on there. And if you're new here, here is my regular stream schedule. I'm typically live Monday, Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, and Friday, Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. This was just a little pop-up stream um, as part of my World Wildlife Hunt campaign that is going on now. So, and it, it's going on through this weekend, through the 20th. So, um, yeah, but that's going to do it for, for me and, uh, well, for Odie on my stream, at least, not for the night, but what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? We had like reference photos of the uh... koalas up and some of them are just ridiculous. Oh, my sister's streaming. Oh shoot. That's right. She started streaming again like last week. We haven't raided her in like 475 years, so we should probably. Are you okay? We should probably um, do something with that, right? Um, let's go ahead and raid her, and we'll do uh, Candy the Koala. I'm gonna just spell it like regular old candy, because yeah, why not? Um, because I don't want her to be like the mouse, you know? Keep koalas. Climbing, and then for all my tier twos out there, put a pog in there. And if you're not tier two, put whatever emote you want. Um, you know I love emotes. So these are gonna be our hashtags. We're gonna go ahead and raid my uh, sister because she just got back into streaming last week. She is streaming. Sims uh, 4. Oh, okay. She's streaming The Sims Four. Perfect. Um, Bubba just went live. <laughs> I am live! So many people stream on Wednesday nights, you guys. Um, Alright, well anyway, I love you all. Uh, let me go ahead and credit really quickly my patrons on Patreon. You guys are exponential! I love you guys. Thank you for being part of my Patreon family for uh, December. And I've got a fun little podcast coming to you very soon. So we'll get that hype going! And for the rest of you, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys on Friday for Friday Night Mario Party with this cringer. So it'll be a fun time. All right. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.